The Ecuadorian Amazon is currently a hugely valuable carbon sink, sucking up more carbon dioxide than it emits. But human activity has scarred and drained the land, stripping it for resources. ¿Por qué estamos luchando? Porque si nuestra lucha es, también es para el beneficio de toda la humanidad. Hay que dialogar para poder cuidar de nuestra casa grande, que es el planeta. But it's no longer just about protecting this forest, it's about learning from it. In 2022, a group called the Circular Bioeconomy Alliance ventured to the sacred headwaters of the Amazon River in Ecuador. The Alliance are trying to change the way the world thinks about our environment, both within the Amazon forest and around the world. The Prince of Wales established the Circular Bioeconomy Alliance to connect finance to action on the ground. It is formed by a diverse partnership that involves indigenous communities, NGOs, scientific organizations, companies, banks, funds, but all sharing the same vision that we need to develop a new economy that prospers in harmony with nature. Estamos invitando al mundo que hagamos una alianza, una alianza verdadera para dar segundo paso. The alliance was created because we have reached a tipping point. We are now in the, in the Amazon in order to see how for thousands of years the indigenous communities have been already implementing a living economy that should inspire the new economy of the 21st century, the bioeconomy. Hemos aprendido sobre todo cómo cuidar de la naturaleza sin destruir. Aquí hemos vivido muchos años, siglos de años, pero no hemos destruido. La naturaleza está en equilibrio. Eh, la selva o la madre tierra que llamemos es parte del ser humano. Ya nosotros somos parte de la selva. La alianza de bioeconomía circular es sumamente importante Porque el propósito de, de, de este trabajo es mantener intacto lo que es la Amazonía y también lo que es la cultura y los pueblos indígenas. Of course, we need to admit that it's difficult to replicate the circular bioeconomy that the indigenous communities implement in the Amazon to other parts of the world. But what we can replicate is some of the principles they use to develop this circular bioeconomy. We need to work with the indigenous people because they have the knowledge and they have the intimacy with their forest. So it's their project, but we, we are here to provide support. And the first type of support we can provide is identifying the value chains. We need a market. It can be a local market, it can be a global market. But then, we can help as well on how to scale reforestation. Starting from a small project to a large project is not easy. You need logistics, you need uh, to contract with the villagers, and you need the communication tools as well. So we provide this technical expertise, and we have also the network of companies that can buy their product. Banks and funds play a crucial role without the investors and the banks providing the capital, deploying the right amount of capital to make this transformation, it will not be possible. They need to start recognizing and valuing nature as the basis for any sustainable economy for the future. Entonces hemos pensado y hemos definido que no queremos ser millonario capitalismo grande, más bien queremos vida digna vida sana, alegría, aire puro, limpio y que la generación goce la vida igual como hemos gozado nosotros durante nuestra niñez.
Cuando hablamos del problema mundial del cambio climático, tenemos que sentar y abrir nuevo camino. Ese nuevo camino es entre todos. A todos los banqueros, los que invirtieron al petróleo para sacar, para extraer petróleo, pero han contaminado tanto, invito que ahora inviertan para restauración, para reforestación, para la limpieza de los ríos contaminados y inviertan para la selva que es la vida de la humanidad.